Well, you know, I think a lot of times when you go through and experience yourself, you can't help but think, well, I can use the experience I have to help somebody else. I was born in Harlem. And my parents wanted us to be like real American kids. And so my sister and I went to this sleepaway camp for summer. And on parents' visiting day, all the other children's parents came to visit, and our parents didn't come. My sister and I ran to the woods, and we cried. We said, our mommy and daddy don't love us the way real American parents love their children. We went home, and that was the end of that. We never said anything. It was not until our children were in summer camp that we learned about the fact that our mother was under house arrest during World War II. She started crying, and she explained, we would have come to visit you, but the FBI wouldn't let me leave Manhattan. And it was very sad to think that all those years, we had not understood why our mother didn't come to visit us. When it feels like we have to invisibilize our pain and erase ourselves and our, our culture, learning about the history of whether it's Chinese exclusion, Japanese internment, homeland security, it all leads me to understanding I was experiencing anti-Asian sentiment. And I think the hardest part is when we're doing the violence to ourselves in a way. So I think being able to connect to activists, to hear stories from people like you, it, it makes me feel like I'm not alone. I think it's really powerful to connect one's own experience to kind of the larger historic context, but there's also the experience of, of other communities. I practiced and tried to teach people that it was important that policy not create disillusionment and bitterness. That's probably why I got involved in our local parks. And the same with getting schools integrated, eventually rebuilt. Later in life, I got involved in the issue of AIDS in communities of color. We've got a lot to do because there are a lot of youngsters out there who will surely die while the adults were arguing about whether they should even get safer sex in their schools and the pu I think Asians have a tremendous responsibility because we include so many of each other in our definitions. I prefer to identify as Asian American just because I feel like there's a, a greater sense of community and a greater sense of belonging, you know? And I, I think that that's one of the most important things to me in life is creating a sense of belonging for everybody I know. I'm glad that the idea of Asian America exists, even as it's something that we're continually redefining. And it feels like a, a home for me. Trees grow the same anywhere, and flowers grow the same anywhere, if you allow them to, if you plant them that way. I wouldn't want there to be a definition of who we are, because we are so many different backgrounds and histories. I think it's important that we each develop our own ability to define who we are, who our families are, who the best of our communities are and create love and understanding. <laughs>